Google's ad auction is not just based upon how high you bid. In each ad auction, you are given an ad rank. The higher your ad rank, the lower you need to bid to beat the next advertiser. For instance, if you were to bid $5 and the other advertiser bid $4, if you have a higher ad rank, you might only need to pay $3 to win. The ad rank is essentially a ranking of how relevant you are to the search term and the customer. The more relevant you are, the better ad rank you will have. This means lower costs and better results. At the end of the day, Google's main objective as a business is to provide the most relevant results and best experience for the person that is searching. Google has structured the ad rank to be based around this. So, you're rewarded for giving the more relevant and positive experience for that customer. There are five factors that determine ad rank. Number one is the bid. Your bid is the biggest factor in determining your ad rank. Your bid also influences where your ad will show on the search results page. The higher the bid relative to other advertisers, the higher you will appear on the page. The second is ad rank threshold. To ensure high quality ads, Google sets a minimum bid you need to enter into an ad auction. If your bid is too low, then you won't enter the auction. So for instance, you can't just bid one cent as you won't be able to enter the auction. The less relevant your ad is to the search, the higher the bid needs to be to hit the ad rank threshold. Number three is context of the query. The context of the query is a determining factor of ad rank. This looks at elements such as the search term, the person's location, the time of search, the nature of the search, and other real-time signals. If the user is looking for a local restaurant, then the algorithm will reward local advertisers and give them a higher ad rank to try and improve the user's experience. Number four is the impact of assets. So the assets that we added to our campaigns previously, they give the searcher more information about your business, such as phone numbers or your services. This gives the user more information to help make their decision and, and thus gives them a better experience. Again, as a result, Google rewards you with a higher ad rank. Now the fifth is your quality score, which is a score given by Google that assesses the quality of your ad at the time of auction. The quality score is ranked from one to 10, with one being the lowest and 10 being the highest. The better the score, the higher your ad rank, and the lower you'll need to bid to win an auction. So your quality score is determined by three key elements. The first one is the expected click-through rate, which is Google's prediction of how often your ad will be clicked when shown in the search results. This is calculated by how many times your ad appears in the search results, which is an impression, and how many times your ad is clicked on those appearances, which equals a click. So impressions are then divided by clicks and you're given a click-through rate or CTR. So if you appear for 100 searches, that, you, that means you have 100 impressions. And if you receive two clicks, that would equate to two divided by 100 and then turn it into a percentage figure, which equals 2%. So you'd have a 2% click-through rate. Now, the higher the click-through rate, the higher your expected click-through rate is, and the better your quality score will be. There are two key ways to improve your click-through rate. Firstly, by getting people 
to click on your ads more frequently. So this is done by creating very relevant ads for your keywords. The more engaging and captivating the ad is, the higher the chance the user will click on your ad. Now the second, so you can also improve your expected click-through rate through your bids. There is a correlation between your click-through rate and how high you show on the results page. So the higher you, the higher you bid, the higher you show in the results and the higher your click-through rate usually is. Now going back so that the second way to impact a quality score is the ad landing page experience. So this metric is determined by how relevant your landing page is to the search. To achieve this, we try to give the most relevant landing page to the user's query. The better the user's, ex user's experience, the better the score. So, does the landing page answer the question the user is looking for? Does your landing page have original content to answer the question? Is your landing page easy to navigate? And also landing page speed is a strong factor. So make sure your website loads as quickly as possible. Now every extra second your website takes to load, 50% of people drop off and you'll waste your clicks. We'll include a, a free uh, tool you can use, that is a Google tool in the resources below to test the speed of your website. Now the third part of your quality score is your ad relevance. The more relevant your keywords and ad is to the search, the higher the ad relevance score. To make sure your ad relevance is high, make sure you're using relevant keywords in both phrase and exact match. The second is make your ad copy relevant to your search. Now, if we go back to the ads, the responsive search ads we made in the previous section, we make sure we include, include multiple headlines that are that keyword, and this is the reason. So, all of these factors influence your ad rank, which determines if you will show in the results, and it determines how much it's going to cost. The foundation of the ad rank is to reward relevancy and give the, the searcher the best experience they can get. To give an example, if you bid on your own company name, then your quality score is going to be very high. This is because your expected click-through rate is very high since if people are searching for your business, there's a high chance they're going to click on your ad. The ad landing page experience is going to be positive as they're looking for your website. Your ad relevance will be very high as you are bidding on your own company and you are that business. However, if a competitor bid on your company name, their ad rank will be very low and their costs will be much higher than yours. And this is because the expected click-through rate is going to be very low as most people typing in your business name are looking to click on your business ad, not theirs. The ad landing page experience is going to be very bad as they're not looking for, the, for that competitor and if you do click on the ad, they'll usually leave very quickly, which tells Google it wasn't a good experience. And lastly, the ad relevance will be very low as they're bidding on someone else's company name while being a different business and website altogether. This system punishes businesses for advertising on irrelevant terms. We will discuss the use of company name keywords in more detail later in the course as there's some scenarios where it might be useful, but most often it's a very costly exercise and doesn't produce good results. Your ad rank and quality score is very much built into the platform and how you set up your campaigns. All of our best practices are designed to maximize your ad rank from the very beginning. We make sure the bid is on the higher side you know, this allows us to enter the auction and this also shows us higher on the page to have a strong expected click-through rate. As you know, we make sure the keywords and ads are very specific to each other. We do this by creating very specific ad groups, tailored ad copy providing relevant information, 
specific landing pages per ad group based upon the keywords we have there, and tailored assets to help this as well. Everything we've done directly impacts our ad rank and quality score. And again, there's nothing more to do from this, though it's important to understand these concepts. The main takeaway is that make sure you're constantly updating your campaigns with the goal of making it the most relevant experience for the customer and you will be rewarded.